Most birds can fly, some don't. Some birds can dive in the water, and most cannot. But have you heard of the bird that farts? Introducing the Watson bird, aka the flying cow. In this video, we'll take a quick look at this strange creature and some of its very unique characteristics. What type of bird is Watson? The Watson is the last of a mysterious, old ancestry of birds. They are the sole surviving species of the Epistocomidae family and the sole bird of the Epistocomiforms order. It is believed that the last living member of this species lineage split off from the avian family tree roughly 64 million years ago, shortly after the massive extinction of the Jurassic period. Watson Appearance The Watson is about 65 centimeters long and less than one kilogram in weight. It has a long tail, a blue face with brilliant red eyes, a loose crest on its head, and a body covered in yellowish and brown streaked feathers. Its head has a spiky, rufous crest. The lengthy, sooty brown tail has a buff tip. The upper sections on the mantle and neck are streaked buff, while the wing coverts are a dark shade of buff. This species makes a lot of noise, using a range of raspy cries, such as moans, croaks, hisses, and grunts. These calls frequently coincide with physical actions, like wing spreading. Origin Interestingly, Watsons are currently only found in South America, although it is thought that their ancestors once lived in Europe and Africa. Evolutionary biologists have hypothesized that Watsons arrived in the Western Hemisphere by rafting. Since Watsons are weak flyers and the continents had already started drifting apart by the moment Watson ancestors developed, according to experts, the early Watsons traveled across the Atlantic with large chunks of floating soil and vegetation washed out to sea by ancient rain and floods, eventually settling permanently in the lush Amazon rainforest. This may sound like the plot of a cartoon, but it is believed that this is what happened. Evolution Studies on the Watson have revealed that it has no near relatives. Since the species was initially identified by the German scientist Stettius Muller in 1776, biologists have argued over its ancestry. Because nestling Watsons had two useful claws on each wing, some earlier systematists thought the Watson was a relative of Archaeopteryx. However, Archaeopteryx has three significant claws on each wing, yet modern scientists thought the claws of the juvenile Watson were of relatively recent origin by modern scientists. Before it can fly, it may have developed this secondary adaptation due to the necessity to frequently leave the nest and maneuver through tangled vines and branches. Watson Unique Traits Watsons aren't a problematic species to spot because of their distinct appearance, loud calls, propensity to reside in social groups, and awkward style of navigating through the foliage. This bird is about the size of a chicken, with an orange mohawk-like crest and a blue face. A few traits differentiate it from all other birds, though. For instance, a stinky and clumsy reputation. Watsons typically eat swamp plants, and instead of using their gizzards like other kinds of birds do, they grind the vegetation in their stomachs. The nickname stink bird comes from the bird's stinky odor, brought on by food fermentation in its digestive system. They hardly ever consume insects. The digestive tract of the wets and undergoes bacterial fermentation, which breaks down the vegetables it eats and purifies certain leaves. Despite not regurgitating food as cows do, Watsons have a peculiar foregut ruminant digestive system that gives them a stench so disagreeable that humans hardly ever hunt them for sustenance. Breeding Depending on where they dwell, they breed at different times, but Watsons breed seasonally and only do so in the wet months. These friendly birds breed in modest colonies. They create a stick nest inside a tree that swings over a water body in the seasonally flooded forest, where birds lay two or more eggs. The chicks have two claws along each wing, which is an exciting trait since they eat fermenting food that has been regurgitated. They can utilize these claws and their large feet to climb all around tree branches as soon as they hatch to avoid sinking into the water. A canny defense strategy. When the Watson eggs hatch after four weeks of incubation, adults feed the chicks a paste of regurgitated leaf matter to protect its young and themselves from carnivores like Taurus and Capuchin monkeys. Parent Watsons hoot, hiss, and yell at them. Given that their nests are constructed over water, Young Watson birds instinctively jump out of their nests and dive further into the waters below when threatened. 
They are excellent swimmers, so don't be concerned. The wink laws are helpful at this point. The chicks make their way back to the shore, drenched but secure, and use their claws to scramble back to their nest. The Watson's charm comes from its peculiarity. Every kind of bird is unique, but this one stands out for a few reasons that give it the status of a celebrity bird. So next time you're in one of South America's forests, be on the lookout for the flying cow. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure you like the video, subscribe to this channel, and don't forget to hit the notification bell. See you next time.